Right now we're going to take some new oil, pour it into the cylinders. Good. I'm just gonna lightly turn the motor over so the oil can coat the cylinder walls and the whole piston. And I'm gonna take my cell phone right here. I'm gonna show you guys how the oil is just coating the whole piston here, which is a good thing. That's what you want. You guys see that oil floating on top of the piston right there? And right there, that means you covered it. Let me bring the motor down. You'll see this going further away. Now, cylinder one and four are top dead center. You can see that oil on those pistons. So there's plenty of oil right now, as you can see. Tap that center right there. So let's go ahead and run that compression test one last time and we'll see if these numbers increase at all. All right, kid family, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. So on today's video, guys, we are gonna be doing a wet compression test on this engine. And if you guys can see, I smashed my pinky the last time we were doing the compression on the dry test. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You just knock your fingers right into the motor. So at this point, I ghetto rigged my finger, but we can't wait any longer. We have to do the wet compression test, guys. So we already put the oil into the cylinders. It's nice and wet and coated. It's been about a day or two while this is chilling there and grilling. So let's go ahead, put the compression tester on there. Crank that motor up. We got Bullets Garage in the house today to help us crank this motor because I cannot do it. And we'll check the readings. That way we know a little bit more information about the motor. We can see maybe what's going on. Are the readings going to be higher or lower? And we're going to discuss those readings. So guys, smash that like button for your boy to support me. And let's keep going.
All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video, episode one of checking the motor, checking what's going on with it. Comment down below what do you guys think about these results, the dry readings, the wet readings. What do you guys think is a problem in this motor? What do you think is going on? I'm curious to see and hear from you guys. Again, this is my first time doing any of this, so I'm the amateur here. You guys are the pros, so share some of that love. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing down below. We're going to be tearing this motor apart day by day, slowly and surely, and we'll go from there. So, catch you on the next video, guys. Peace. I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us